Hey friends, it's Liz, your official craft nerd, and I am just bringing you a quick video today on a really awesome project that I had a lot of fun with. So if you're new to my channel, I hope you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload, and make sure to like this video. So these are the products that you're going to need for this project, and I got all of these from the Dollar Tree. Yes, even this plaque. I did find in their spot where they have items that are a little bit uh, more than a dollar, but they're definitely worth it. So I'm using this wood round and basically I'm just going to give it a nice coat of that Waverly Antique Wax because I love how this looks once it's all said and done. It just gives it such a good deep color and these wood rounds really do take that, uh, that stain really, really well. And hey guys, real quick, if you don't already, come find me on Instagram. I am now under official craft nerd. My original page was hacked, so I am no longer posting there. But I would definitely love for you guys to come and find me and uh, give me a follow on there. And I post on there every single week. I try to do a couple projects a week. So definitely check me out. So the next step here is I'm taking these bamboo skewers, uh, also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just kind of trimming them down. Originally, I thought I was going to just use these to go all around the sides, but then once I got some of these done, I was like, this is going to take forever. So I just cut this amount here. Can't tell you how many I used. I didn't count it, but I figured it would be a good amount. And I'm just going to color it just the same. I'm going to put that wax on there. Just give it a quick rough coat. It doesn't have to be perfect. Obviously you can tell this is kind of, uh, kind of a pain to do, but you know, it worked out. I had some of these little mini craft sticks. Now these I did get from Walmart. However, I feel like if you want to just do completely Dollar Tree products, you can just use the regular popsicle sticks that they have there or their craft sticks and trim them down. So I was just trying to get an idea of how I was still going to use those bamboo skewer skewers. Y'all, I can never say that. <laughs> but I wanted to use those as well. I figured I'd put the time in trimming them down and I was going to use them as well. So I do have to kind of trim them down a little bit more. But my plan is to alternate the popsicle sticks with the bamboo sticks. So that's kind of what you see me doing here is just kind of measuring it out, getting a feel of what my spacing should be. I am just taking some hot glue and sticking these to the sides and I'm going to go completely around this wood round. So here you can see I'm taking those uh, bamboo sticks and I'm just going to place those in between each of my popsicle sticks. Now I do want to say that I probably should have just glued all this together before staining because it did make some of the sticks uh, hard to stick to with the glue. I don't know if it's because of the wax that's on there or not, uh, but inevitably I got it all on there and it looked just fine. So what I did was I did go in and kind of give it a little bit of a coat to the inside of this. Just a rough coat, obviously not fully covered. And my next step was taking some of this um, uh, rope that's also from the Dollar Tree. 
And I've have so much of this lying around you guys. I just knew I needed to use it and this project just seemed perfect. What it's doing is it's definitely hiding the inside, but it's also going to give my sticks that are glued to the outside some strength. So I'm also going around the outside as well. And I'm just using a whole, I think it was like nine foot uh, pack of this rope. And I believe it went around three times. So I just literally glued it all the way around, all the way to it was finished. And what it did, it, it gave this, uh, it gave the sides much more strength. So it wasn't, I guess if I'm saying that right, you guys know what I'm talking about. Now I also wanted the tops to look finished as well and because I did trim up those uh, bamboo sticks they were a little sharp so I definitely didn't want those edges out like that. So again I just went around with my rope and I did I believe two layers. I went around the outside first and then I came across the top end of this as well and I also did one uh, roundabout with the inside as well. So. At the end of the day, it really gave so much more strength to this tray. And I, oh my gosh, you guys, I just fell in love, 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 love with this project. Okay guys, and this is the final piece. I decided not to do any paint on the popsicle sticks on the outside just because I kind of like that contrast between the raw wood and the stained wood. But at the end of the day, you guys, I love this so much. I felt like this will be the perfect little like party tray. And like you can see here, I just stick my bottle of wine on there and have a glass and we're good to go. So you guys will have to tell me what you think and I hope you really enjoyed this. I mean, I had so much fun making this. Oh, just you guys, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Thanks again for watching you guys. Till next time.